Hello, I'm Tim Underwood. Me and a team of colleagues are going to run the New York Marathon and we are going to try to raise £100,000 for Cancer Research UK. That lump there is his tumour. As far as we can see from your CT scan and from your PET scan, we don't see any spread anywhere else. It's quite interesting that you say you don't really prefer people for reflux treatment. Well, we should. We treat esophageal cancer, but the challenge that we've set ourselves is nothing compared to that our patients face. This is our story. Esophageal cancer is a disease of the gullet or food pipe, the tube that connects the back of the mouth with the stomach. This is a terrible disease. At the time of diagnosis, about two thirds of patients will not be suitable for a cure. And for the other one third, treatment is drawn out and difficult. We need a game changer for this disease. And the only way we're going to get that is with research. We're going to run the New York Marathon to raise money for this research that will make a difference for the patients that we treat. About five months ago, I started getting heartburn and then I got what seemed like a blockage. I'd take a bite out of a sandwich or something and it would, I could suddenly got a pain and that was obviously there was something it wasn't going through. Went and saw my doctor um, who, without mentioning cancer, said, they thought they ought, I ought to have an internal investigation. That was for you. Today, we are seeing Mr. Bryce. He's a 71-year-old gentleman who initially went to his see his GP because he had food sticking when he was eating. And that's the most common symptom that patients present with, with esophageal cancer. Have you met Donna? Yes. I'm one of the um, cancer specialists, one of the surgeons mm -hmm. here at Southampton. What have people told you about what we've found so far and where we've got to? That, that there's a five centimeter um, cancer at the bottom of the esophagus. Okay. Um, what's happened since then, I don't know, because I've had scans and... So you don't know the results of any of no. those? No. As far as we can see from your CT scan and from your PET scan, we don't see any spread anywhere else. That's <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Emotional. You're allowed to react. <laughs> well, we <laughs> so that's good news. Yeah. I think you can tell yeah. by your reaction. You can tell. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's bad that you've got the cancer, yeah. but, it actually, but we've not got any spread yeah. anywhere else. No. Um, and I think we will be taking you down a process of an attempt to cure you from your disease. Yeah. Right. Now. Your tumour does come down into the stomach a little bit, mm -hmm. okay? So to be completely sure about the amount of spread, we need to do a little operation where we have a look inside your tummy to see whether any of the cells from the cancer have spread inside your belly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes, we'll do that in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks for I'm sorry to give that diagnosis, but we now oh, start no, this together. I'd rather have know what's going on than not know. We're on the way to see uh, a group of GPs to talk about the signs and symptoms of uh, esophageal cancer. It's really important that GPs understand they need to refer patients quickly to the hospitals so that we can treat people sooner. So the real reason that I'm here is because esophageal cancer is the fastest rising cancer in the United Kingdom and that is mirrored across the Western world. I don't see that many patients actually with esophageal cancer. I probably see lots of patients who've got reflux and indigestion and heartburn and it's trying to pick out those patients to be particularly worried about. Because a lot of these referrals are um, as an element of gut feeling of is, is there something wrong with this person, did I or didn't I ought to do something about them. This is where it's quite interesting that you say you don't really refer people for reflux treatment. And we have ever well, we should. 
So if patients have long-term persistent heartburn, changes in their heartburn, food sticking when they eat, or they're losing weight unintentionally, or if they're worried about their symptoms, they should come and see their GP. You can see that GPs in this region are ahead of the rest of the country in the number of referrals, which is fantastic. The important thing in this disease is that we all work together. Patients need to come and see their GPs early. GPs need to refer the patients to secondary care to specialists early, and the specialist needs to accept those referrals and do the appropriate investigations. The earlier we can see patients with this disease, the better for their outcomes. So this is Mr. Bryce, and we're doing a staging laparoscopy and OGD, which is a telescope test. We're going to be able to tell a number of things, whether the tumour is spread inside the abdomen, whether any cells are spread from the tumour, and the length of the tumour at the junction between the esophagus and the stomach. Yeah, staging laparoscopy, OGD, biopsies. Good, we're going to wrap the arms in. Am I right to start? Yes, please. Thank you. And there we are inside the abdomen, so I can lift the left liver up like that. And then we can make an assessment of the stomach. And this is the stomach here, across there. So the tumour is just in there, I can feel it. Hmm. There, I can feel it, there's tumour in there, quite big. No tumours in the liver, the stomach's mobile. We can use that as the replacement esophagus when we do an operation later on. There's no evidence of spread in the upper abdomen. So far, so good. So that's that part done. We're now going to look down the gullet using a flexible telescope. That's the centre of the esophagus, the black hole, and the pink's the outside, and we're coming down the esophagus towards the stomach. So this is the normal wall of the esophagus here, and that lump there, this is tumour. Um, I've had a good look round and I've had a good look down. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a relatively long tumour in your esophagus. Yeah. But looking on the inside, nothing to worry us. Good. No sign of spread. Um, nothing that will stop us at the moment carrying on with the treatment that we think yeah. we should give you? Well, I think the next year is probably, as a normal year, is written off. Um, the chemos are every three weeks for um, nine weeks. Then when I've got through that, then I'll worry about the, uh, the operation. I think raising £100,000 is going to be a big challenge for the running team and for the team at CRUK. But I believe very strongly that we have the, we have the vision, we have the people and we have the wherewithal to deliver this really impressive target uh, that's going to make a real difference in the research and then the treatment of patients with esophageal cancer. Over the coming weeks and months, we'll be following how these patients get on. We'll also be looking at some of the research into esophageal cancer going on right now and what's in the pipeline for the future. Follow us on our blog at thecancermarathon.org or donate towards our marathon attempt at justgiving.com forward slash thecancermarathon. The money we raise will go towards Cancer Research UK's Catalyst Club, which funds our most cutting edge and innovative research. We're going to work as a team, and I think I think anything is possible. And actually, the patients we've already spoken to are really impressed and touched by the fact that we're doing this. So, so anybody can give us some support, that we won.